how to mint your goon bod for more daily gob redaily tokens, and how to find goons with free unclaimed bods. Hi, in this video we're going to have a look at how to mint your free Goons of Balatroon body on your Goons of Balatroon if you have an unclaimed bod. Now first of all, when you buy your Goon, you should be able to tell whether it has an unclaimed bod or not. You can do this both on OpenSea and on Gems.xyz. So on OpenSea, you simply go to the Goon that you're interested in having a look at, bring that Goon up and scroll down to where it says body claimed status and it should say unclaimed. That means this Goon has an unclaimed body available to be minted for free. Now you can also do this when you're searching for goons on gems.xyz. All you need to do is use the filter status under body claim status and check and tick the box saying unclaimed. Now obviously the goons where the body's already been claimed is, are going to be cheaper. This goon for instance has had its body claimed and that's only 0.1e. If we tick the box for unclaimed bods and just filter out those that have claimed bods you'll see the prices have gone up but there is one here that's actually fairly cheap 0.125 that includes an unclaimed bod so that one I would actually consider as a good bargain because you're getting an unclaimed bod as well as the goon itself and you can mint the bod to go with the goon. So that's a quick look at how you can check on gems.xyz to find goons that have an unclaimed bod. And obviously you can open up the details to double check that in more detail. So once it comes up, if I scroll down again, you'll see under the bod claim status, it says unclaimed. Okay, once you have your goon, come to the goonsofbalatroon.com site, make sure your MetaMask wallet is logged in in, make sure it's connected and then under the links here you need to go across to your NFTs and once that comes up you can scroll down to where you have your NFTs, click on the one that you want to use and it will confirm whether or not it has a bod that's unclaimed, this one does. So once you've done that close it down and head over to the factory which is a link at the top of the page. Click on factory and that will bring up the area where we can mint our bod for our goon. Make sure you're logged into your MetaMask wallet because once the goon factory comes up you're going to need to click on the connect button here to connect Connect it to your wallet. Once it's connected and confirmed, this should light up where it there says mint body. Now you can also view body and you can actually use this to double check the eligibility of any goon, whether it's got a bod that can be minted or not, simply by clicking on this and popping in the number for the goon itself. We've already done that on OpenSea and Gems, however, and on Goons of Balatrine itself. So I'm going to click on cancel and I'm going to click instead on mint body and it'll bring up the goons that I currently have unclaimed bods on. So I'm going to choose the one I want, click on OK, and it'll open up the goon body creation creator for me. Now you've got five traits available for your goon body. They are bottoms, footwear, belts, weapons and accessories and it'll tell you how many you've selected down here in the bottom left corner and it will tell you whether you've selected any that are going to cost you extra money. So pay attention to this price down here. There are lots of options available within each trait and most of them are free. So for instance if I choose bellboy that's free to mint so it's not adding any extra cost to our mint and there are lots of free options in each of the traits so you can do this without any ending up paying extra to mint your goon bod. Obviously you will need to pay gas fees, but make sure that you do your minting at a time when gas fees are low. If you're not sure how to work that out, please check my video on making sure you pay low gas fees, which I'll link to in the description below. So basically all you're doing for each trait is going down through each of them, looking at the different prices and the different items and seeing whether you like them and whether you want them to stick with a free version, which one you want, or whether you want to go for one of the paid versions. This is a good example. <laughs> These are cool and funky pants, but they are 0.69 ETH. So that's almost 0.7 ETH. That's adding a massive amount to the cost of minting this goon, which could be free if you just stick to the free items like fur or cowboy or bellboy, and basically scroll down through, look all the ones that you like find the ones that you like that are free and then maybe if you want to add one paid option if you really want to boost the look of your goon in some way if there's something specific that you like the important thing is keep your eye on this price at the bottom before you click on mint another good example is in weapons there is an option down here i think for a sling ring so here we go sling ring looks great especially if you're into marvel stuff but 0.69 eth that's going to add up on the price quite quickly if you go across to accessories there's another one one that is kind of relevant to Marvel again I think it says magic stone glove don't know where that could come from but that adds another 0.69 e suddenly the cost of your mint is getting expensive and going up and up so be very careful what you choose if you want to start again just come over here and click on the cross and it will get rid of all your choices so you're back to the basics of no selected traits so really it's a case of going through each trait trying out the different items seeing if there is a price or seeing if there's a free version so the sock accessory for 
for instance, free. So I could go with sock. Let's head over to weapons. I could go with a sword, which is also free. I could then go across to belts. Let's go with water element. And that's also free. So now I've added three traits to my goons bod. And so far, it's not costing me any money at all. So as I say, all you need to do is go through each trait, checking the different options available and finding what you like for the look for your goon bod. I'll do one more. Pick some bottoms as well. Let's go with octopus. Again, they're free as well. So there we go. I've chosen five traits for my goon bod. And I can mint this for free, plus the gas fees, obviously, because I haven't added any expensive extra traits to my goon bod. Now, I've already minted a few bods before so I have a good idea of what I want for this particular bod that I'm going to mint. So I'm going to pause the video while I quickly go through and choose the individual traits that I want to use. So I've quickly run through and picked all the traits that I want for this particular bod. Now you'll notice that I am going to be paying some extra for this and that's largely because I want a Pokeball as the accessory. That's simply because I'm a Pokemon Go fan. I play a lot of Pokemon Go so I want this bod to have a Pokeball on it and yes I'm willing to pay extra for that. Now I should also mention there is another aspect to choosing items or traits that cost extra money to get minted and it's that those can add rarity to your goon bod generally because they're costing extra money very few people are actually adding those when they mint their goon bods so in the aftermarkets like OpenSea those bods can have more value so down the line in the future if you decide to sell your bod it may have more value there's no guarantee but those rarer more expensive items can give your bod that extra value once you're happy with the traits that you selected for your new goon again can remind you one last time check the price and that you're happy with it once you are go ahead and click on mint and it will check again to make sure that you're sure let's click on yes and it will bring up our metamask wallet because we're going to need to confirm it in there as well so i'll scroll down and at the bottom i'll click on confirm obviously there's going to be gas fees as well it says mint in progress it's going to take a few moments to get minted I'm going to click on ok and it will take me back to the goon factory basic screen then i can head across to my goons profile and i'll just go to profile to see if it's turned up yet bear in mind it may take a little while before it drops in at the moment it's showing two bods so it's not there yet if i go through to your nfts and scroll down it's still only showing two bots what i'll probably need to do is disconnect this if i go here choose disconnect and then i'll reconnect in a moment or two and refresh the screen and then it'll probably come up on my goons account but if we go across to OpenSea and let's go across to my collected option and scroll down there it is there's my new body it's already appeared in OpenSea. and if i head across to gem.xyz and have a look at the feed over here on the right we can see that that has has appeared as well it's body number 5472 it says minted just been minted it's a fresh goon body that's been minted so bear in mind it may not appear in your account in goons abolitary straight away so the best thing to do is disconnect your wallet reconnect it and give it a few moments here we go it's now showing up the graphic hasn't come up yet but it is now showing that we've got three bods so it has been minted and it's in my account so that's how to mint your unclaimed goon body if your goon has one and how to check whether a goon has one you don't forget to check the description below for the extra links and please like and subscribe while you're down there as well. Thanks very much for watching.